What's going on everybody? It's Chris and I'm back with the 2020 Miami Hurricanes. We are trying to get to the College World Series. We've got a great start. We're 2-0. and We've got a huge series against the Tennessee Volunteers. They're 14th in the country. They've got a couple big time players who are draft prospects. But first, guys, I want to get into recruiting. We didn't get a chance the first series uh, against the Gophers. Um, I was just focused on one guy in particular. But I definitely want to get into it now. Checking the rankings. We're fourth. I like that. Moving up a little bit. Decent series. But let's look at recruiting. I'm curious about, yeah, John Sonye. I went all in on him. The interest level goes up. He's a 6'3 lefty out of Illinois. I know he's the number two uh, prospect in the country. But we just need to stay on him. Even if he's going to get drafted high. I don't know how that's going to work. But we're just going to go all in on John Sonye. And look, we got Mike Knorr is in here, 15th overall prospect. I like that too. And just checking out the other guys, uh, the different positions. Ryder Porter, I told you last week that I definitely wanted to recruit him. Uh, he's a huge priority out of Florida. I know he's 109th overall, but he's a switch hitter, has some speed and some pop. Uh, I, I really wouldn't make him a priority. Those are kind of the three guys I'm looking at right now uh, as like the top priorities in this recruiting class. And really just kind of looking at the whole roster. Um, we've got a lot of draft eligible guys, and I don't know if they're going to come back for their senior years. So we just need to get a lot of recruits. And, and I just want to start with those three. But look, we've got other guys here. Doug Ostrander out of Arkansas. He looks like a good prospect. I'd love to pull him as well. Uh, he's 31st overall prospect. He's a 78 overall rating. So let's let's try to get him going. Grant O'Day. I remember he was from New York. Yeah. And uh, Jeff Todorov right there out of Michigan, the Juco player. So it's got a mix of high school guys and Juco guys. And I know you guys want to see me play one of the best teams in the country, but I want to just stay with recruiting just for a little bit because I didn't spend much time on it before. And that's one of the cool things about uh, the college video games and, and the college baseball games. I, I can't believe even now, you know, this is the last one they made. And even now, I can't believe they actually made a college baseball game. It's just crazy to me. And for that reason, and I've been such a college baseball fan for a long time that uh, quite honestly, this is, I don't want to say it's my favorite series, but this is definitely one of my favorite series that I'm running right now. So I, I know it's a, I know it's a PlayStation 2 and it's taking it back a little bit and I'm going to work on the graphics to get it as good as possible. But we are just hammering out recruiting right here. Luis Coburn, you know, we're down to 65 points. Uh, we got a nice little boost with that weekend wins, um, the two wins. So um, trying to build on that and man, the recruiting points go fast. Look, Joseph Wolf right there, uh, just a little bit of a interest level. We've got Brian Delaney. Man, if there's some guys out here or some attributes that you guys think I should be looking for with recruits, be sure to let me know. I know I want to get some power, and I want to look at that a little bit later, but right now I'm just trying to get the best overall guys, kind of start, get the ball rolling a little bit. The interest level uh, for a lot of these guys just isn't, you know, it's just not there. So I'm just kind of clicking around Ryder Porter. So he's the top center fielder uh, the of the guys that aren't in the top 100, so um, I, I like that, but... Yeah, there's some interesting guys in here. I'd like to find more guys out of Florida. And with college baseball, it's so there's Ron Moran out of Minnesota. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go after him because of that weekend series. And we're just going to see if we can pluck a couple guys out of Minnesota. Start with Moran just to see if, you know, if it made a difference that that we uh, that we beat the home state team there. So um, I'm going to go after him. Obviously, there's not a lot of Minnesota baseball players. I don't even know of any that that played um, or it's certainly been a while that played at Miami, but uh, so we're just gonna check more of these guys out for sure. Got Mike Bohannon right there, so I, I love the names and yeah, just super jacked up about John Sonye, man. I I don't. There's another Minnesota guy. Yeah, I like that. We're just gonna yeah, let's let's do let's just go after these guys. We got the wins. Let's see if we can get them down to Coral Gables. There's some interest level with some of these other guys. Man, it feels like I, I feel good about going after it, going um, strong after Sonia, like right from the jump. Um, I put in, you know, got him to visit campus, and now his interest level is right, is getting higher really quickly. So I'd rather just do that. I might do that a little bit later, but man, it just takes out so many of the recruiting points for the week. And, and I want all these guys. Like I said, we need to get quantity. 
but definitely quality but I definitely need a number of guys just to see how it's all gonna fit in so yeah those guys that are 80s overall those are impressive Mike Noor 81 out of California I, I like that the Juco guy Todorov oh man Ryder Porter definitely I know he's only a 71 I don't know what I'm doing I don't know why he's such a priority but we are gonna go all in on him and see if we can get him down to Miami Ryder Porter or bust for sure so just looking at the schedule uh, you know you guys saw the the games there 11 to 7 13 5 way too many runs allowed uh, still working on pitching and defense and I'll get the hang of it here but oh my goodness Isaac Kunon has, has been suspended for eight games for poor academic performance man that's I know he's a bench guy but man that, that happened quick we just started the season and he got suspended already but but yeah, it is what it is. I like that it's uh, that stuff happens. You know, it's too bad that it's uh, suspension. But I, I kind of wonder about injuries as well. Nothing, nothing yet. So I, I wonder if anything, uh, how frequent the injuries are, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. You know. But um, yeah, here we go. Garrett Crochet. He's a potential top ten draft pick this year. Uh, I know he's got the strong attributes and he's a left-handed pitcher, which isn't good for our lineup because we've got all the left-handed bats. And I'd, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if, uh, if I did enough in the first two games where I'm ready to take on one of the best pitchers in the country. He throws hard. He's a lefty. Look at that. It's their season opener. I know they're going to be jacked up. But guys, one thing that our team is going to be jacked up about is this is the Miami home opener. And Mark Lightfield is in the game. And it's, since it's a Friday night, we've got to play at 7 o'clock. Got to play the night games, the 7-7-1, three-game series uh, at those times. And I just love how it looks. Um, it's pretty much how it looks even today, even though this game was made a, long, a while ago. It's pretty much pretty clear to, to how it is now. You know, it's pretty cool. With the, got the scoreboard in left field, um, the parking garage in right field, you know, the... the uh, obviously the palm trees and oh man this is great just want to soak this in a little bit man I wonder yeah how great would it be if they had a milkshake stand too Brian Van Bell yep one of the best changeups in the country I'm excited to pitch with Brian Van Bell he did good the first game and I just want to keep him going man he had a huge senior year it was cut short everyone knows all, everything that happened but Man, he, uh, he, he's just an impressive Number pitcher six, since he got to Miami. Match. And who else would I want him to be on the mound against one of the best pitchers in the country? And these guys these guys are good, too. Like I said, they're 14th in the country. The Their ratings are way higher than the guys from Minnesota. So I need to, you know, quickly get on top of my A game in this matchup. Or, or I could lose. I hate to lose the series. I, I, I'm not going to get swept. I don't. Yeah, there we go. That's a good start. I'm not going to get swept. I don't think I'll get swept. I, but I think, you know, a sweep will be hard. But the way my offense was going uh, in that first weekend, I'm confident that I could figure out a way to, you know, to get it going. But, you know, that first game against Minnesota, the start of the season, that, that really shook me a little bit, going 13 innings when I thought I had it won. So I just need to lock in a little bit more uh, from the jump. We can't let that happen. Just need to keep this thing going right from the beginning. This is a good start. It's a pop up there. Yeah, you see the track right there. They even got the the track with the soccer field, and you know they obviously they're not going to have the indoor practice facility for the football team. Oh, this is a tough matchup, guys. Yeah, this is their best hitter, I think, or at least the best draft prospect for Tennessee, Alaric Solari. Yeah, he's really good outfielder, multi multi tool guy. Oh, there we go. That's a line out, right? Either way. That's a good start. Three up, three down. We'll take that all the time. Yeah, there we go. The the look right there at the coach's office going right to the dugout. Oh, here he is. Garrett Crochet. Man, he's a beast. Look at those ratings. He's got five pitches. Yeah, he's going to be tough. But we got our guys, man. Yeah, look, we go lefties all over the place. I don't know. We're going to – I don't know how to mix it up, though. Like – I don't know who to take out really. I, I like the starters, but if you guys have suggestions of players you'd like to see or or, or see more, or even like like I said, switching up the lineup maybe. Um, I, I like to make some moves. Oh, it 
a uh, little late on that man this fastball is coming in hot Get to the left that's side. all right got got the bat on it at least I don't want to be striking out I don't want to I need to put the ball in play and see how it goes but the volunteers have an it's tough on the on the, the fastball velocity um, just how hard it is to, to kind of catch up to it so is up next. oh that man on yeah he's got multi pitches going off speed oh man he had everything I don't know if you guys saw but he had a palm ball or like are you kidding me so this is gonna be crazy it's gonna be he's got all the full repertoire of pitches oh man <laughs> that looked bad yeah that that's gonna look awful I think the catcher caught it and then I swung um, too aggressive I saw the pitch but when it's out of the zone it's really hard to hit um, Oh, that's tough, but yeah, it's just really hard to hit. So I need us to lay off. There we go. That's all right. That's it. Oh, yeah. I thought it was gonna be a fly out. It looked like it was carrying a little bit. So yeah, look at that. Yeah, they got the jersey numbers uh, that have been retired. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. How they have this set up, and and you see the backstop. How it kind of you kind of forget what it used to look like um, just a few years ago compared to the changes they made with all the seating. Um, right there. A ground ball headed for the hole. I like the I like the the oh hits to second base because I feel like I can make those throw. I'm still working on trying to get the throwing down, but you know one of the things that's making it a little tough I've realized Swung with uh, some of my infielders is you know Freddie Zamora at short and Raymond Gill at third base. You know both of those guys last season had two uh, two of the most errors. Right we got that. Side. Two of the most errors in the ACC, and uh, fielding has certainly been an issue with both of those guys, and they don't have very good fielding ratings on this game. So I thought that that's kind of playing into some of the, the struggles I've had a little bit from the, the early start of the season, just trying to get a good feel of, you know, uh, even when they field it, just making proper throws over to first. There's Jenkins, has a good speed. I like that. Man, I, I just can't get over this the, the stadium, just how real it looks. Uh, it's really cool how they did this. Oh, man. I timed it right, and I, I pulled it, but I think it was, that might have been a ball or just a tough pitch to pull. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to get these guys going here. Uh, that's another super late swing. That's, that sinker's tough. Yeah, look how late that looks. That looks terrible. There we go. That's all right. It timed it up a little bit better. So even if you time it up, I think, you know, just because it's facing a good pitcher, um, even when you time stuff up, it doesn't guarantee it's going to be a base hit, you know, and that's just like in real life. So, but I'm getting, ah, that's not a good swing, but I'm getting, you know, I'm not swinging and missing too much other than those late pitches, but I'm making adjustments. So I feel good about that, but man, we need to get some base hits. This is going to be a quick game if I, if I can't get any base hits because I'm confident I can pitch even though, like I said, their ratings are good. I just have to lock in a little bit more, and I should be fine. Um, like I said, and, and Van Bell has those good ratings. Oh, that's got to be a strike. That's a, I want to go low and in. Yeah. You know, one thing I – I mean, I always want to pitch down. But, uh, man, that's tough. 3-0 and count? guys I can't be walking guys I need I need to throw strikes but I don't want to just throw it right in there let's see if this guy there we go the 3-0 curveball you guys like that a lot of confidence in Van Bell getting it over he thought I was gonna throw a fastball down the middle I can't do that let's see if we can get it up from a fast there we go we can get over there there we got that yeah so I go curveball low trying to change the oh this guy's got bad ratings here but yeah I'd go curveball low and then try to catch it with the fastball high see if that works yeah he's got the blue area definitely want to throw the ball in the blue as much as possible so just kind of thinking about the schedule a little bit it, like it I think it's going to be a little odd with the sometimes I play two games in a weekend and then sometimes it's three and then like uh and then one's like a, there's not a lot of midweek games, but I gotta figure out my starting rotation of who I'm going to put in there for those midweek games. There we go. 
striking them out. That curveball, I like that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going through this lineup pretty good. Yeah, this is good. And like I said, guys, this is definitely one of my favorite series. I, I'm excited to bring this to you. We're going to do it every week. Uh, I'll have a new up episode. Hopefully you guys like the recruiting part. Um, I, with, with recruiting, you could, you could, and you guys have the play these games, you could definitely just spend a lot more time with it. But I'm trying to keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, don't want to just bore you guys out with, uh, with it if you're not super interested in it. But... I'd like to spend some time with it and and kind of just keep keep it going because like I said I think I'd like to do this for more than a season I don't it's called uh, Road to the College World Series the 2020 World College World Series and I definitely want to get there but I, I want to keep this going I want this to be a dynasty I want to you know kind of rebuild the roster because this is certainly a team built to, to win it all this year um, just with the upperclassmen and, and you know the younger guys are really good like Adrian Del Castillo but um, I know if these guys leave early I've got a lot of work to do to rebuild the roster and it's a challenge I, I'm willing to take on but that's kind of looking ahead but yeah and JP Gates is one of those guys that um, will be around for the future he's only a sophomore and he's a guy that could he hits but as a DH you know and then he play, he's been working at first base and practices but just um, he's not going to unseat Terrell there but I like this I like that that pop to the opposite field and then obviously Gates can pitch a little bit too so for this game for this season I think I'm just going to leave him as a hitter though um, and we'll see how that goes but maybe I do switch him over to pitcher Tony Jenkins man he had a good start to his, se his season there I know he's looking to break out. Everyone's been really excited about him ever since he's been on campus, but just um, for different reasons, just kind of hasn't had the production he would like those first two years, and he was looking for that big breakout season. So hopefully I can have a breakout season for him on this game. Oh, that's tough. Man, I have to get used to, to commentating while I'm, I'm playing here. It's hard to – oh, man. Get, hopefully that gets out. So those bleachers, yeah, they, that's where the indoor hitting facility is going to be, right down the right field. They've got the the structures up, and I know they're excited to have that up and running. Um, so, yeah, they took out those bleachers, but everything everything else looks really good around the around the stadium. Oh, here we go again. I got it. Every time he's up, I just got to lock in against Alaric. There we go. He's swinging it, though, man. Just have to, you know, against, man, he's got a good rate. He's got a 90. Just got to stay locked in when you face these guys. I cannot believe we're already in the fourth inning. I know this isn't the, the high-powered games that you guys saw those first two games of the season. So hopefully you're still locked in here. And just, it's just tough. I mean, facing Crochet, like, he's really good. And like I said, the velocity is impressive, but he's got the off-speed pitches. So even when I'm on it, I'm not able to get anything. And look, we don't even have a hit yet. We don't even have a hit yet. I cannot put out a video with me not getting a hit. This is not how that we'd like to get this thing started. But that's okay. I, I, I'm confident if we can, you know, I'll take the foul balls, maybe wear out crochet a little bit, but we just need to get something. There we go. That's just something we needed. That's just something we needed. I like that. There we go. And he's got good speed, so if I can get another hit, maybe go first to third and try to bunt him over. Whoa. I don't bunt very often. They didn't count. Yeah, they count. That's a swing and miss. Let's try this again. Jeez. If you throw me a strike, I could bunt, bunt him over. Now there's already two strikes. Man, I can't bunt again. Oh, you thought I was going to swing at that. Man, he's... He's getting up two strikes and trying to th throw one away to see if I'll chase. Usually I would, but I'm trying to just stay locked in. Oh, don't turn it. What in the world? Man, he made that crazy throw look so easy. I have to get Freddy to knock him in here. Get through. Oh, just didn't hit it hard enough. I thought maybe he could peek it in the line there. Here's Del Castillo. 
That is 250 on the season. I told you guys last episode. I've been. I feel like I'm pressing with him because I want him to be uh, one of the top players in the country. Oh my goodness! Rolling over. Man, I had that leadoff hitter. I couldn't get anything going, even though I had like the best guys in the lineup up to bat. I still couldn't get anything going. That better not drop. There we go. We're on it. We're just keeping this thing going. I. Hopefully you guys are, are staying with the action. You know, I'm trying to throw strikes, make him swing it. And then I'm, I'm trying to swing as much as possible. You guys don't want to see a lot of 10 pitch at bats in a video game. Let's just keep this thing moving. And there's a way to, maybe I'll turn off the, the catcher throwing back to the, the pitcher there. I don't know if that's going to help uh, speed things up a little bit just on the animation there, but get a strikeout ah I needed that strikeout 0-2 count man I definitely could have used a strikeout I, I probably I gotta throw a better pitch there got one out hopefully I, maybe turn two on this he's sacrificing the two out with one out that's all right I'll let him sacrifice and then we'll get the next guy man he looked like I did 0-2 surely he's not gonna try again Oh, late. Oh, the changeup. Yeah, I missed my. That's a good. That's a good shot there, Van Bell. I missed my spot a little bit. So I'm, I'm having a hard time with the the bar. Sometimes you got to get it right. Just you got to pull it back right at that green and then go straight to the spot where you want to go. But that's good. We'll take it. Van Bell is cruising. I can't worry about the the hits not coming. Just need to keep. Throwing up zeros and something's gonna break. See, they only have three hits. They're not doing much either. Yeah, here's Terrell. We need to get him going. I need a base hit. Oh man, I saw it well, but just couldn't hit it. Yeah, the the color indicators are different different pitches, is what that is. Oh, do you get it? Crush to right. That's the home run. That's what I needed. I needed that. Look at him. Boom. Yeah, he knew it was gone. Thought he was going to do a bat flip. I should have hit the bat flip button. Look at that. He's having a good start to the season. Hitting bombs off great. Man, Garrett Crochet, I just hit a bomb off him. That I can't believe that just happened. Lefty on lefty matchup. And Terrell just smoked it. We're up 1-0. I, I feel like that's not enough, though. Oh, that's a good hit. Oh, man. That's a good hit, though. That was solid. Maybe we're getting to him a little bit. Yeah, I need to score more than a run. I, I'm not, I don't think I can... I don't think I can keep Van Bell in the whole game. I, I, I haven't looked at his stamina. I'm just kind of cruising along, but... I don't... Oh, man. That's tough. I'm trying to pull it. I need me try to go opposite field on that one, but that's all right. See if we can get Jenkins on base. Maybe get him to second. Oh man, yeah, that yellow indicator that's gonna be a ball, and I still swung at it. It's so tempting though. I feel like if it just drops in there, I'm right on it. Yeah, I'm laying off that though. I can't be swinging at all the bad pitches. Can't be swinging at them all. Yep, lay that lay off on that. Yeah, I feel it. So he's missed his he's thrown three straight balls. I swung at one, but maybe he's getting rattled a little bit. Maybe he's getting rattled a little bit. Three one count. Let's do this. I'll take a walk. Oh, that might have what do you guys think? I don't know. Was that a ball? That's all right. Yep, that's a ball. We'll take ball four. Yep. Maybe he's getting rattled, that home run by Terrell, and he's shook. Oh, man, I'm right on that, I swear. Look at that. That could have been a hit. I was right on it, but it's inside. I can't hit balls out of the strike zone. There's that palm ball. See, look at that. How many balls? He's just throwing balls all over the place right now. He cannot find the strike zone. I cannot bail him out. I can't bail him out. I gotta let those go. They need to bring out the pitching coach.
Oh my goodness. I, w I was late. Man, that was tough. I did not read that out of the hand very well at all. There we go. Oh, I was hoping that'd get through. Man, that's tough. Because I felt like he was on the ropes, but I couldn't capitalize. But I got that big bomb. That's a good shot right there. The stadium. Mark Light Field. Alex Rodriguez Park. Looking good. This is 2020 NCAA baseball. I hope you guys are still with me right here. We are in a tight battle. 1 0. I can't believe Terrell really went yard. I, I want to do that all the time. He he almost had the school record in home runs last season, so I, I want him to have a big year this year. But I, I know I shouldn't press every time and, and do the power swing, uh, just take base hits with them, but that's not as much fun. I want to do, I want to get home runs with him. He's got the most power on the team, so I definitely want to try to have a good year for him. Man, this guy's got, this guy's got hot zones everywhere. Oh, that's, and he's going to bunt it. A little late. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. He was a good hitter, and they want to sacrifice. And this guy again. Alaric Solari. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I was nervous. It went red. That wasn't what I wanted. But he got it over there. My defense is super suspect for sure. But we're getting a house. I can do this one. Oh my. <laughs> Man, I need to throw this a little bit more on target. Raymond Gill, a strong arm. About sailed it over his head. But we are out of the inning. I wouldn't say it was a jam, but definitely, you know, these later innings, you don't, you got to worry if your guy's going to get a little tired. So well, we're in the bottom of the six. Get through. Oh, man. Can he beat him out? He's got good speed. Yep. Sliding in first. Look at that. That's a good slide. I like the slide at first. I know you're supposed to run it out, that whole thing, but I want to I want to see this slide here. The slide to first. Out of the box. I want to just take a quick look at this a little bit. Maybe I'll use this for a thumbnail. I don't know. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Or maybe, I, I don't know. We'll just see this. Look at the stadium in the background. It's looking good. We are already in the sixth inning. Let's see if we can. Let's get closer on Lala here. I just want to just stay with me here. I'm going to get through this really quickly. Oh, the, the dirt flies up. Man. So, so real quick on first base. So sometimes when I'm covering games, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'm not always in the press box. Sometimes I'll be on the field where I'm taking photos and there's like a little spot where you take photos right by the, the dugout. And one game, you know, you always worry, like you never know if a ball is going to come flying your way and things like that. Um, so it's just like a football. If you're on the sidelines for a game, you don't want to get crushed. Like you see, man, they just turned two on me. You do not want to get crushed by anybody, uh, the whole thing. But one time, it was pregame, it was before the game started, and Miami's taking infield. And I was over there, and Harold Martinez was at third base. And he smoked a laser over the first baseman's head, right into the area where I'm at. And it's so different, but I was paying attention to him. So I saw the ball coming, but it's so different when you don't have a glove and it's not thrown to you. So you're kind of a little like hesitant you're not you know and it's coming in fast too so maybe if you had a glove you're right there uh, oh I get it look at that another bomb oh my goodness opposite field Freddie Zamora man he's off to a great start this is huge he threw that high fastball he just went yard it is two to nothing yeah that was, that was a big home run with two outs and the squad's out there to celebrate. Look at that. We are up two to nothing on one of the best pitchers in the country. I know it's not a huge scoring game, but these are the kind of games I'm willing to do and just grind it out 
and I will take two home runs like every game. I will take that every game. So the fact that I could do it against this guy is really impressive. Even though there weren't guys on base and there were solo home runs, I, I will certainly take that. The, home, the long ball is for real with this squad. I would like, to, it's going to take some time, but I would like to be able to hit a home run with like all these guys at some point during the season. Obviously guys like Terrell and Freddie Zamora are going to have bigger seasons with the home run ball. But but yeah, but anyways, uh, going back to that uh, story with Harold Martinez, the ball comes flying in and it, it almost hit me, but it I luckily got out of the way like at the last second and the ball was just rattling in there. But that was the only time I, I've ever had a ball like fly in there and it was coming in hot for sure. And I was glad I was paying attention. Could have busted up my camera or hit me in the head or whatever. So just glad I was paying attention. And, and I haven't had any uh, football run-ins either over the years. But it's certainly been close. But that's, but that's a tough too because they're going at 100 miles an hour and you're just standing there. So, and uh, yeah, hopefully that never happens. So, guys, we are cruising. Get there. All right. I like that. That was a good throw by Raymond Gill. That's fast. Look at that. Only five hits. Brian Van Bell is being a beast. Let's see, though. I'm going to warm up some guys. It is getting late in the game. I, I just want to make sure that they're ready. We're just kind of seeing where we're at. We're in the bottom of the seventh. I don't know. I want to keep him in there because he's doing so well. But I, I, I need to make sure I'm ready because if it falls off, it could fall off quick. And I, I, I want to make sure I'm ready. I do not want to lose this game, and especially that opener, man. That, that one's really sitting with me. Just because I had a really good lead. And even the second game, I thought I was going to go to a run rule and then I had to play all nine innings. So when I'm up, I need to make sure I, I capitalize and, and finish it off. And that's a good base hit. Oh, man. Hey, is that going to drop? Fair, fair. That's fair. Look at that. That's going to drop for a double. Somehow. I have no idea how that worked. No idea how that worked out. And nobody's out. This has to be our big inning. Don't. Uh, I, I saw it, but I didn't want to swing. But I. See how close I was? Like, if it was a strike, like, I feel like, just let me hit it. But. There we go. That'll. Yep. Oh. I thought he was going to go home, but yeah, he, he looked me down. Oh, they're warming someone up. So, dang, he hit, he hit the ball hard, but couldn't do anything with it with my base runner. So, yeah, that one's a little bit different. See how, see how big of a difference that was? He didn't hit it nearly as hard, and then I was able to score another run. So, it's got a 3 nothing lead. Somehow, we've held him to zero. We got a guy on third with two outs. We need to come up clutch here. Gabe Rivera. Oh, get there, get there. What in the world? How did he get that? Look at that. He threw it from his knee. He didn't even get up. Let me just throw it over real quick. And he just snatched it. Man, but that's okay. I can't worry about that. We got a run. We're slowly building a little bit of a lead. We're in the top of the eighth inning. I'm still cruising with Van Bell. I'm locking in. That's a perfect pitch. I locked it in on green on both sides. But let me, let me, yeah, let me get these guys going. Yeah, Palm Quiz. Palm Quiz had a good freshman season. Maybe get a righty up. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go lefty righty. I always like doing that. Play, play some match. Make sure they're both ready. Yeah, he's at 73% stamina. So that's, that's pretty good. I think if it drops below 70, I need to be a little bit more cautious. But I definitely need, you know, if guys get on base or they're hitting it hard, I have to be ready to go to the bullpen, even though he's been so good already. No balls, two strikes. Fly ball oh, toward left. man, I was a the little nervous there for a second. Felt like he got a catch. good hit. Felt like he hit out good. So we got one out here, five outs left, and we got the win. Let's do this. The fastball down around the knees. Let's do this. Let's get this win. We are 2-0. Got the home opener here. The crowd is packed. They are loving the Canes. We need to get to that. Get there, get there, get there. Okay, good. 
I don't know if he's going to make it all the way. You never know when the ball's just going to drop right in. So we can't get any base runners. This guy's got all the hot zones. I'm going to throw right there nice for a strike. That first pitch curveball right on the black. Hit to the left side. Over That's, first. Oh, That'll man. I thought I had him a little bit better, but, man. I'm going to work on my fielding. You gotta time it just right and make sure you you go straight across with it. But man, I don't know. Whatever, three outs. So here we go, going to the eighth. Maybe I can get another run. I would take one more run for a four-zero lead. I think that would be enough. Let's look at my. Let's look at this right here and see what they're doing. Whoops. Yeah, we gotta get Fed going. Daniel Fetterman's our closer this year, guys. So. I might bring him in. It just depends what the score and the situation is. They still got crochet in there. Fastball Throwing gas. Man, right there. Right on the hands. Yeah, I thought he got a little rattled, but man, he settled down a little bit. Oh, did he get it? Get out. Oh, look at that. Jordan Lala. I thought crochet was settling down, but we are, we are just getting one run at a time on this guy. This is huge. I can't believe it. I feel like I can get excited because we're we're winning, and I, th I feel really confident that we could close this out. I've hit three home runs. This is crazy. I definitely didn't expect this at all. I thought I was going to have to get runs, like scratching them across, base hits, two or three at a time. But Oh, that's perfect. That's a double for sure. Got the nice ads on the wall. I don't see Big Cheese Pizza, though. Man, look at that. The crowd is every, everybody's still in the stands. Oh, they finally took him out. They finally took him out. Oh, I'm too excited. I'm too excited that they took him out. I like the right-handed pitchers. Yep, here we go. This is a great matchup for him. Only one out. At least get a fly ball to the outfield. A base hit is even better. Look at that. Guys, we're going to win this game. This is way better than those first two games. Even though we don't have as many runs, I, I love that we we held them down to no runs after giving up all those runs and hits the first two games. This is much better. I'm settling in a little bit. That's okay. Terrell had that big homer. That's okay. Oh, I can take a ground out there. Raymond Gill, can he get another? Can we Can we get another run? Man, those pitches, I swear I'm right on them. Look at that. Earlier I was missing. I was way late, but these ones I'm missing. I'm just, they're out of the zone. Oh, that was close. Here we go. Alaric is up to, he's going to lead off the ninth. We're up 5-0. Do I? I want. I kind of want the complete game at this point. Man, he's hitting like every first pitch, and he's hitting them hard. But they're going right at my guys. We're gonna have to just make sure we lock in him all all series long. Oh man, that's okay. We got a 5-0 lead. Only need to get two more outs. I still want to keep Van Bell in here. Something drastic would have to happen. I just percents are going down. That's a perfect pitch. There we go. So he's still he's still doing okay. Like I just have to pay attention to it. Like any time, you know, instead of just rushing through a pitch, I just need to make sure I'm paying attention to everything. It becomes a little tougher to throw the perfect pitch uh, when a guy's tired. So I just but I, here we go. Already an 0-2 count. Strike him out, hopefully. There we go. I kind of went full power on that one. Even though it, it, uh, it takes a little bit from the accuracy, I wanted to make sure I could get a full power pitch. So we're, we got two outs. This guy's good, too. Look at the red zones. He's got a 90 in one of his ratings. Get there. Guys, we did it. All your support helped. Man, we got that huge win. I guess number 14, Ven Tennessee. We won five to nothing. This is a great start to the weekend at the home opener. Everyone's super happy. 
We just need to keep this thing going for sure. That's a good start to the season. We are 3-0. Man, hitting home runs everywhere. Okay, guys. So in this in the second game of the series, I want to kind of cruise along a little bit. Uh, we got Chris McMahon there on the mound, number seven, and just kind of you know just kind of push it along and, and see if we can't get through this game uh, a lot quicker. Um, you know, I don't want these videos to be super long. Um, and if you guys uh, have suggestions on what you'd like to see. Um, there's our first round of the game with Tony Jenkins there, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys want to do. If you want to, oh, get out, get out, get out. Oh, off the wall. Our bats are coming alive a lot more. You know, we had the home runs in the first game, but look at this. We're up three to one. I got a freshman in here. Mike Anthony Valdez didn't play much at all, but I wanted to get him in there. I don't know about that swing, but I don't know. It worked there. You got a double down the line. Up four to one. Here's Anthony Villar. Hopefully that drops. There we go. There we go. Building on this lead. But everything fell apart. We're down seven to five. Oh, that's a home run. Get out, get out. Boom. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that coming. Anthony Villar, he is not one of our home run hitters, but he definitely got it all of that one there down the right field line. Just pulled it right there. We need to get this win. I I, I want to go for the sweep at this point. We got that first win, but it's 7-6 to six now. Can we get him in? Get in there. Yeah, he's safe. He's safe. We're seven to seven. This is like those first two games. I, I need all the runs. Uh, I'm struggling pitching. Okay, here we go. Get, go in, go in, go in, go in. Okay, good. Okay, now we're only down ten to nine. All right, this is my last shot here. It's twelve to nine. I don't know what happened. We gave up. We had the shutout in the first game, and then we come back and give up 12 runs in the second game and 20 hits. It was terrible. Okay, guys. Here's the third game of the series. Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock start. We have a day game at Mark Light Field. We split the first two games. The first game was great. We won 5-0. to zero. And the second game was terrible. We lost 12 to 9, giving up way too many hits, way too many runs. I thought I had it figured out after the first game, uh, but I was wrong, and I got rocked. So this game was Slade Sacconi on the mound. We just need to go back to how we played on Friday night and get this win, win the series, be a little bit disappointed that we don't have our undefeated uh, start to our season anymore. But we can't worry about that at this point. We just need to go ahead and win the series. Take two out of three against the Volunteers. They've got a good team. We've got a good team too. And I know it's just hard to sweep. So I, I will go ahead and take a two to one series win. But we definitely can't go one and two. That would be heartbreaking for the squad for sure. Man, they're hitting the ball. I love the day games. This is nice. I was excited about the home opener at night there but this day game the, the the stadium looks really good we got some changes in here in the lineup but uh but yeah we're gonna we're gonna see if we can uh get this win here but i i don't know it's top of the first and there's guys on base already we just need to see if we can get out of this jam you know, one of the things I have to get used to is like each pitcher has its uh, their, their own tendencies and their throwing motion and what pitches they throw and how effective they are. So I just need to learn about each pitcher even more so as we get into the season. Because all three of these guys, I know Gina Damari felt like he had the best three starting pitchers in the country. And you can understand why you feel so confident. Like two of the guys with McMahon and Ciccone, oh, that's a good strikeout. With McMahon and uh, Ciccone could be first round picks is that gonna go oh there we go one to nothing lead 
One to nothing. Let's build on this Del Castillo. Oh, that'll drop for sure. Yep. Now he's getting doubles. I love that. I'll get some home runs with them eventually, but I'll take the doubles just to get them started. Oh, that's... That'll get a run in, though. It's a ground out. I just want to keep getting hits with him, though. Down four to three at this point. Fourth inning. Lala's dropping it in. Get in there. That looks like a double. Just stop there. Second and third. We'll take that. Four to four. Tarau. Tarau. Oh, look at that. I thought it was going to be a single, but it gets right by him. So, oh, that'll score another run. He's got the good speed. Look at Lala with the Sunday shades on. He's got the Sunday shades on. I like that. Five to four lead here in the eighth. Let's see if we can add to it. I thought that was going to be a ground out for sure or a double play. I don't know how that got through there, but we'll take it. Six to four lead. Let's close this out. Let's close out the 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 win here. Oh yeah, that's a that's a, I got that. Man, that was that was a good series. We will take that. That was a good win. That that last game. Six to four. The guys are happy. The four errors are super disappointing, but we're we're doing okay with 14 hits. Could score more runs, but we're we're building, guys. We want to be better at the end of the season than we are right now. But we're certainly off to a good start. Took two out of three against the Volunteers, ranked 14th in the country. So maybe we've got a. I don't know if we're gonna move up in the polls uh, since we took that loss, but we shouldn't have dropped very far either. So. That's a good aerial view of this, this stadium. Great opening weekend at home for the Hurricanes. But be sure to you know like and subscribe if you like this uh, series, and just we'll keep it going. So follow me on Twitter at InsideTheU. Visit InsideTheU.com for all your coverage on the Miami Hurricanes. Thank you.